folks. Dipped down to nine degrees Fahrenheit today. And it's pretty cold. So I thought, what better day to do the second video in our series on how I heat the tramper. So today, we're gonna take a look at the Mr. Buddy Portable Buddy Heater and see how well it performs inside on such a cold day. Let's get to it. Here it is, the Mr. Buddy Portable Heater, or Portable Buddy is what they call it. And it takes the one pound propane cylinders. That's the only disadvantage about this thing is it, it will go through these pretty quick, especially if you're running it on high. As you can see, I've gone through a lot of them. So I brought along my 20 pound propane tank and I purchased an adapter that goes on here and allows you to refill the one pound propane tank. So I'm gonna fill up a couple here real quick, show you how I do that and then we'll hop in and get warm. Okay, so they say for the best performance of this guy here, you should freeze these prior to doing it. Well, <laughs> I, guess I don't really have to worry about that right now, do we? Safety first, put some safety goggles on. And I'm also gonna wear gloves in case it sprays propane. These take about one pound of propane. Screw it on, it will flow downward. So we're gonna go ahead and tip this upside down. And you'll hear a hissing noise. And we wait. Still waiting. Once the hissing stops, it's pretty much full. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off. Flip it back over. And make sure it's tight. And slowly undo this. I was buying these by bulk. So much cheaper, so much easier. There you have it. Let's get inside, I'm cold. <laughs> I can't feel my hands, it's so cold. I've got a lot of faith in this heater. It'll be uh, nice and toasty in no time. We take the propane cylinder, take off the plastic cap, and then it screws into this side. Make sure that you get it threaded properly. Okay, nice and tight. On the top here are the controls. You have a pilot, a low and a high. When you turn it to the pilot position, you gotta push down a little bit. And then you click until it lights and you hold it for, uh, I think it says like 40 seconds or 45 seconds or somewhere like that, but I usually don't. You'll know that you've held it long enough if you release it, if the pilot stays lit. I turn it to the low setting. And we have heat. So we'll go ahead and start a timer and check the current room temperature. It says it's 24 degrees, if you can see that, or 25 degrees now. <laughs> it's going up quick, now it's 27, so. This little thing's a beast. All right, just a few safety tips whenever you use this thing indoors. I always open my vent, and I usually crack the back window here, open a little bit, so it allows some air flow. And then, this is very important too, is a carbon monoxide detector. It will warn me if I'm gonna die from carbon monoxide poisoning. Get one of these you don't want to die either. I'm not saying that the, the Mr. Buddy thing will kill you. Think of it as insurance, just in case something were to malfunction. I tell you, I've used this thing over and over again in here and never once has this even registered uh, any carbon monoxide in here. So it's a beautiful thing. 
By the way, this is not sponsored whatsoever by Mr. Buddy. I just like their products. On their website, it says that this little heater has a 4,000 and a 9,000 BTU per hour option, so I'm assuming that's the low versus the high. And it says it will heat up to 225 square feet. And it has an accidental tip over safety shutoff. And the only other thing when I'm using this, I just make sure that I don't have anything within uh, a foot or two in front of it because, I mean, right in front of it, it gets really hot and directly above it gets extremely hot. Definitely don't want to put anything combustible too close to it or you'd be in trouble. So I usually just stick it down into the aisle here in between the bed and the countertop and it heats right here where I'm sitting and uh, actually heats up rather quickly. I usually kick it on high to get it warmed up here pretty quick and then uh, once, once it's warmed up enough, I will put it on low. All right, I missed my 15 minute check-in, so we're at like almost 18 minutes into it. The current temperature is 45 degrees. 30 minutes, 52 degrees inside, 11 degrees outside. Not bad. 45 minutes into the experiment, 57 degrees. It's pretty cozy for 11 degrees outside and it's windy. Not bad, not bad probably take the coat off pretty soon. Oh, hey. It's been an hour, and it is now 65 degrees in here. I'm just chilling. As you can see, the Mr. Buddy Portable Buddy works fantastic in a truck cap camper. You just have to be safe with it. Give the appropriate distance in front of it. Make sure you have a ventilated area, a carbon monoxide detector, and you should be good to go. Well, that about wraps it up for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, found it educational, informative, fun. You know, if you did, please consider hitting the like button because that actually helps me out. And also, if you're not subscribed to this channel, please consider doing so. If you do, I will think you're awesome. Hey, we'll probably do another one of these videos in the series at least, and I believe the next one will be my electric heater. So we'll have to find some place to hook up to shore power to do that one. Hey, thanks again for sticking around to the end, and I really appreciate you. And until our next adventure, Godspeed. Thank you.